Let's look at the for loop. If we look at the man page, we see it's a built-in command. It's for looping. For is a looping command. Uh, if you've never seen this before, we should probably look at an example. I have a file here called URLs. If we look inside of URLs, we'll see several internet addresses. These are how-to documents, how to do Apache, how to do NFS, how to do DNS, and so on. These are various open source techniques and software used in the Unix world. We could easily pull up a browser and look at these how-tos and read them. Let's say we wanted to save them. We could go to each of these, copy this, and paste it into a browser's address bar and download each of them. That's a little long, so let's use a for loop to accomplish this. We can say for i or any element in. Let's run a Unix command cat URLs. We know that cat URLs will return the list of internet addresses we saw before. So basically we're saying this I could have been anything. It could have been X or P or whatever. We're just saying for each entry. So for I, where I is each entry, in whatever this returns, which would be a list of internet addresses do and we tell the for loop what to do for each of those entries. We saw the wget command previously where we could pull a file off the internet. So we would say http colon cnn.com and that would pull the CNN web page down. However, we're not interested in pulling CNN. We're interested in pulling the URL entry from this file. So since we said for each entry to store the content of each entry in this variable i, we're going to say wget i and then done. And we'll see what's happening here is it's looping through the file and downloading. This is 100% and it's complete. Now if we do a listing here, let's clear the screen. Already if we look in our graphical environment, we see we have URL, which contain the list of files, and the other documents. Let's uh, do a listing and we will see that. And that's it. If we wanted to uh, look at the content of one of these, we would Simply right click and open it, and there you go. You would see this is the file you downloaded, Sampa Auth Authenticated Gateway. Alternatively, we could look at the contents of the file using the more command. And now you could take this with you and the rest of um, things you downloaded. That went by pretty quickly, so I will briefly remove all the how-tos and do it again in case you didn't see. So we have the single URL list here. Let's look at it, the contents again. Here are the addresses. Let's clear it. I'm going to up hit my up arrow a few times to bring the command back. And here we have it. For each entry, this I represents each entry in whatever this result produces, which is the list of URLs, do this command. And the command is to wget whatever is contained in this I, and we're done. Let's look at it again. While it's running, you will see this section filling up, and you'll see the status bar bars here displaying the uh, completion. Here we go. Uh, 
and we're all done. That's it. Uh, try these loops and see how you do. If you want more information, look at the man 4-4. Four, four.